Donc, euh, Smell va présenter un peu les, comment on peut utiliser le machine learning, mais rapidement, il va introduire la production pour la cybersécurité. Voilà. À toi, Atman. Um, thank you. Thank you. So, hi, uh, I will present myself. You, hear, you can hear me. Yeah? I'm Dian, c'est bon. Oui, oui, c'est bon. So, um, I'm Smir Achman, a new student in, this is my first year in the PhD uh, with my, my supervisor, Jawad. So, this presentation will be about an introduction, just an introduction about cybersecurity. I will give a definition about cybersecurity and what is it in the real world. Then I will, I, I will give what AI can do to improve cybersecurity in a real world. So we begin with under, uh, a definition to cybersecurity. Then we, I will show some problems of cybersecurity that we know, we all know. Then the role of AI, uh, of course, advantage and disadvantage. So what is cybersecurity? When we think that when we think that cybersecurity is like like a hacker trying to hack an account maybe or or a server, maybe a device, and we try to defend our client from it. So this is what we think, but it is not. It's more than that. Cybersecurity is trying to to defend the persons and their, their data. Uh, it is furthermore than just websites or some things. I will explain more. I will explain more of that. So in cybersecurity, we defend network security, of course, manually or do some programs that do something that already know by, by the hackers because they, they know what, what they can do on, on cyber. So, of course, the passwords, we can give uh, a password, maybe a machine or something. Or malware detection. This is, this is a very, very sensitive action. In malware detection, we have a team, like a team, searching for malware. And this takes time. So, I think AI will, will improve this thing a lot. And vulnerability management, of course, is I think is the same. It's the same process. But can can we automate, automate the network security? I think this is being difficult. But with AI, I think we, we will give more than this. And fraud detection. This is this fraud detection. I will explain something. So if somebody steal your, your signature and copy from a bill and pass in another bill, then he can buy something. So he can steal from you and we cannot detect this. So this is because this is just a numerical word. So this is very difficult for a human being. And uh, treating hunting, this is this is very important, this thing. This is, uh, I think on 2017, on 2017, uh, WhatsApp has announced that, that will, they will help our nation from terrorism. Uh, the persons that communicate with us, they will scan their, their conversation. If something get wrong or terrorism, something like this, they will, they will help our nation. So. Uh, Emmanuelly, this is this is very very hard. So in cybersecurity, in the old cybersecurity world, they they use needs needs that are systems that uh, they're based on a data set. So like virus, old virus, they're all stored in that, and they look out for for them. So if if they so like this is just, you can say an old way to, to, to defend our laptops and our privacy. Yes, this is, this is the old cybersecurity. 
So, of course, we can, a human being cannot work forever. So, so this is why AI is very important. With our robots can work for us. And we just maintain or improve things. This is, will, will be very good. So here is come the artificial intelligence and they, it will help us to build in a program, smart programs to, to detect malware, to, de to, to detect hackers, to detect unusual behaviors on websites. Maybe, maybe someone steal your passport, but we have to, to detect it, that you, it isn't you. His behaviors is not like you. So, so this is, this is, uh, this is what, what I want to do in my PhD. So artificial intelligence uh, have a many advantages in cybersecurity. So he can he can detect fraud because this is uh, this is a big process. So it can be it can be useful for for us in this station. A vulnerability management we can automate it to do it. So malware detection. In malware detection, maybe maybe some malware is stored in our laptops or our cell phones. Maybe it get uh, information, a simple information of us, and we cannot detect it because it, they didn't do anything harm. So maybe it can steal your 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 name, your, your phone number, maybe your email, maybe your uh, father's name, a lot of information, this simple information, it will crack your password. This is certain because every one of us, every one of us, their password is related to their life. This is, this is certain. We can, you cannot remember something is not rely with, with your life. This is, we are human beings. So, so this malware, this malware, simple malware, we can detect using AI because, because AI, he, 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 he can do things that we are not can. So this is treating hunting, yes, of course and automated network security. But of course there is this advantage of, of AI. The first of, the first of it is, is very expensive. So I search for it, I, yes, it's very expensive. And there is something very bad. So we know all of us that AI is open source. So everyone can use it. So maybe criminals, hackers can, do, can use it. And this is will be this is will be dangerous. And the last thing there is uh, every day there is a new a new vulnerabilities in systems. Maybe there is a, there is a vulnerabilities that Microsoft that doesn't know it on on Windows. They call zero days. The zero days are some vulnerabilities that uh, uncoverable. Uh, for some algorithms I, I search online for it, they, they use the CNN, the conventional neural networks on it. Uh, in an old way, they will, they will be using pattern recognition to detect in spams and like, things like this. I found something on EBM. So conventional neural networks is, is will be good for deep learning to classify, I think, the harm way and the good the good behaviors on on everything uh, so this is what i found this is just an introduction to my phd other questions i will be happy to answer